Mm-hmm. Yes, it is worth it. What did you expect me to say? Go and get this game. Go and get your significant other or your friend and go and play this game. There, There is no worth it in here. It, it is worth it. It's 100% worth it. It's not perfect. It has its flaws, but yep, it's worth it. But I guess you want more reassurance and you want to know more. Well, in this video, I'm going to be rather explaining why it takes two. It's worth your time. And well, what are some flaws that you need to expect in the game? So without further ado, let's just get it started. And yeah, like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. We are growing pretty quickly and it's actually very amazing. And thank you for that. So it takes two. What even is it? Let's get this straight out of the way. It takes two is the best co-op game of the recent years or maybe even ever. If you have someone to play with, go and play this game. And yeah, don't even think about playing this game alone because yeah, game does not have any type of single player. And let's get one other thing out of the way. What is the best way to play this game? By far, the best way to play this game is to play with your significant other, with your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife or husband. Play with them. This is going to be the best way to play the game, 100%. This will give you more relation to the characters as well and it will be, well, the best experience. The second best experience will be probably playing with your friend, but 100% only with the couch car. Play with a split screen. You need to experience this game like that 100, 100%. And the third way to play this game is to play with your friends or significant others online. Yes, it can be done, but there are a lot of visual and audio clues that you need to give your partner while playing. So yeah, it will be, it's not as great of experience online. And what you should do 100% is never play with any randoms online. Never ever you should play this game only with the people that you know and you can communicate directly with that out of the way let's talk about the gameplay and the story and some flaws of the game as well story wise you're playing as wife and a husband that are going through the divorce process we have a daughter that you've told that you're going through divorce and the daughter kind of like wish that you would well not get divorced and some kind of magic happens and you are transformed into these magical dolls and you are transformed to some kind of parallel reality that mirrors yours. So you are still in the same house in the same neighborhood, but everything is kind of like exaggerated and a lot of inanimate objects are coming to life. Like for example, in the beginning, you will, in the, you will encounter the talking hammer or one of the first bosses will be a giant vacuum cleaner or a giant or rusty toolbox. It's Yes, it sounds weird, but yeah, it, it, this game is getting much weirder than that. And your overall goal of the game is, well, kind of like a fix your relationships and find a way to become humans again. Game. And that's the story, that which I have a little issues with, but yeah, we're gonna talk about this a bit later. As for the gameplay, game is actually divided into a few different stages. The stages are kind of like even completely separate games because each stage has their own distinct mechanics that are not carried over to the other stages. For example, in the beginning, one of the players will have an access to the hammer, which will allow you to well, hit the things really strongly and push the buttons that cannot be pushed regularly. And another player will have an access to some kind of like boomerang nails uh, that would stand them with a the hammer, can be used as hooks or like, can be used as a button or can be used as a button pressers or things like that. One of the other levels, one player will have a uh, gravity manipulation power and allowing her to well, walk on the walls. And another player will have uh, ability to well, grow or shrink in sizes. At the other level, Level, one player will have an ability to manipulate time moving it forwards and backwards while now they have the ability to teleport into the places that they have been and then things like that making the game extremely fun and amazing and because of this game is extremely varied on every single stage every single stage is completely different and if you think that you know all everything about the stage uh, when you move on to the next one yeah you and you need to learn the game again and this makes the game incredibly interesting and because Everything is built around completing the things together. The game is just becoming insanely fun. Plus, it has a bunch of different uh, gameplay mechanics, like, for example, driving the plane or a boat or even the fighting game mechanic, like, well, like literally 2D fighting game mechanic or even ARPG mechanic, where you just look, uh, look on a characters from above and you have the skills and things like that. It's insanely varied that you can easily see that there are lots of talent in this game. And yeah, this is an experience that you have to well play and just experience with well any friend or significant other that you have but the game is not perfect and well game is damn near perfect but there's some things that well i myself personally didn't like and you have to well look at this with a very well big not gray like very like big bucket of salt because yeah this is uh, personally my thing and first thing is the game's 
length. Game is long. And I know that some of you will say, oh, you don't like the long games. Oh, how big of a first world problem it is. But the gameplay is insanely varied and insanely in interesting. But the story is, well, how can I say? It's very dragged. You're not getting into a lot of, well, things as you go through the story. It seems like you are walking on the same spot over and over and over again. You have very, very little character development. And this drags the game insanely like you feel like okay we're uh, now we're gonna complete the game and yep nope you have like five more stages to go through and the things like that and it just it just i don't know it makes the game very very long for the sake of just being long and I, and again i mean the story wise if you want to sit down and complete the game in one sitting with your significant other no you cannot do that the game is like around 15 hours long and it can drag to up to 20 hours long Yes, it's not a bad thing. Yes, it's not a bad thing again. But the story just drags kind of like a little. And I know that this is not a problem for majority of people. But yeah, it was a problem for me. And I have to be honest when I see an issue that was an issue for me. And the second issue is that, well, it's not an issue for me. But uh, I've seen people for whom that was an issue. And it's the lack of difficulty levels. The game does not have any difficulty levels. It's the same for everyone. But... If you have quite a large differences in the skill level, for example, with your partner, for example, if you are a moderately good at video games and your partner is not, you will have a quite drastic difficulty levels for each one of you. It might be very easy for you. It might be very difficult for your partner. I don't think that there can be anything done with that. But yeah, it's just a thing that you will have to endure with. And by the way, this is an actual well point of the game as well to just learn how to play and how to be patient with each other so yeah this is the thing that some, for some people it might be an issue just expect that again it was not for me but i know that it was it was for some but okay game is great game is amazing but how much does it cost so now let's discuss the pricing of the game so game is available on steam for the base price of 39.99 for both tier 1 and tier 2 countries and it can go as always 15.99 for both tier 1 and tier 2 countries but the game is also available on a game pass for both xbox and a pc and also when you buy the game you are actually getting access to the free copy of the game to send to your friend which is the insanely amazing thing and by the way weirdly enough it's concerns the game pass version as well basically if you have a game pass you're getting access to the full version of the game for well free i don't know i don't know if it was intentional but yeah it's that so is it worth it for those prices for a discount 100 go and get it no matter what don't think about this if you have someone to play with if you have someone to play with Go and get this game 1 billion percent for the full price. Well, if you can't afford it, yes, 100 percent. Go and get this game for even for the full price. If you have a game pass, go and download this no matter what. Go and download this game. This is actually a $40 game. And for the $40, you're getting more than enough enjoyment from this when we are going to be playing with someone else. Just mind that, uh, depending on who you are, it might be frustrating at the moment, but it's not a bad frustration. It's actually a good one. And when and when you accomplish a certain tasks together with your friend or with significant other, yep, it's an amazing feeling that you need to actually experience yourself. Overall, It Takes Two is the must-play game for anyone who has, well, someone else to play with. And yeah, go and get it. Don't even think about this any year from now on. Go and get it. Well, this will be it for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.